Good morning, Ja. Did you tell everybody that you're going to Pollyanna's house today? I have a, uh, a gathering with all the groomsmen that are going to be in Sweden, all the ones that are here today, out at Michael's house this evening, so he's going to go and hang out, and I'm going to vlog along the way. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, good morning, guys. I'm still trying to get those brakes done. This is the last day that I'm giving these guys to do it. It's this, this mechanic kind of pulls this stuff all the time where he says he'll do it and then all these things keep coming up and what, basically what he does is he goes and does other jobs and just like puts me on hold so I called him today and I'm like if he can't do, do it today he can't do my work anymore because he does this all the time last time he fixed something for me he um, got a phone call in the middle said oh I gotta go do something took off for two hours he went and registered a car and then came back and had the was putting the tags on the car because I, I don't know why he had to do it that moment, but he did, so last straw. Because really, I don't have to do anything today except make my way out to Topanga. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do today, the plan's kinda changed twice because there's something I really wanna do, but then there's something I'm gonna be passing by that I was gonna do anyway, and people keep asking for, and I'm like, well, maybe I should do both and save one for the future, so. Really all I have to do is make my way out to Topanga Canyon by 6.30 when our meetup is with all the guys. But I want to make it like, I want to take my time and not stress because it's Friday driving. So basically what I'm trying to do is get the brakes done, start driving out there and just make all my stops along the way. Guess what? That's right. He's making himself at home again. All right, are you happy now? He drag you across the street? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Licking his lips the whole way. He gets a tree today. You know, it just dawned on me, it's gonna be really awesome using that wide angle lens of Adams today when I'm out in uh, Michael's house in Topanga because he has that sprawling landscape right in front of you. And then when the uh, condensation changes and we got that big, like, big cloud front that came through, I'm gonna be able to catch all of that. The one bit of joy I get out of buying this, other than watching him, is <laughs> watching him almost bite my hand off to take it. It's funny, we were in the elevator and he kept looking up at it while I was, oh, can I have it back? Oh, he needs a drink. I was had it dangling at my side while we were in the elevator and he kept trying to get to it and I said, just wait till we get inside and he actually squawked at me. You like it. It looks like that Carrie's dad found somebody else who's gonna do the job because once again, We've been hitting this guy up, this mechanic, for three or four days now. And uh, he just keeps saying, yeah, yeah, I'm I'll am do it today after this job. And then the job just keeps magically taking all day. And then the next day, he keeps taking another job instead of doing mine. I just, I told her dad, I was like, you know, I get it. He's, basically what he's doing is he's telling me he's going to do it. But then when a bigger job comes up, he just takes that job and then goes, ah, I'll get to him later. And I don't want to deal with that. So... She found another guy who's going to do it. He's finishing up a job now, and then we're going to meet him over there at AutoZone, hopefully get it done, and then go do some vlogging. Well, once again, I didn't get a call, so I guess the brakes aren't going to be getting done again today. Aye, 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 man. What's up with nobody wanting to uh, do this job? So I'm going to leave here in about an hour and uh, start making my way west. And this guy is going to Pollyanna's. Finally, we are out vlogging. Well, when I first learned that Elvis was a practicing Kriya Yoga, I, uh, this was actually the first story that I heard about it. And as I started researching it back and back and back, I started to find out that it all actually started when he was doing harem scarum. and his hairdresser recommended that he maybe come out here. He really enjoyed it, really felt at peace, and that's when they recommended and arranged a meeting for him with uh, Sri Dayamata. Up there at Mount Washington that I have already vlogged once before. So we're gonna go in here and take a look at Elvis's spiritual retreat and home for spiritual fulfillment. 
right here is the uh, meditation garden and all five of the uh, major religions are represented here and this was actually since Elvis started coming here in March of 1965 he had something very similar a meditation garden just like this put into Graceland in around Christmas time of 1965 He actually used to come out here quite a bit with um, his hairdresser. He would come out here with uh, actress Deborah Wally, who he was in Spin Out with. And a lot of people believe that it was actually his success in movies that brought him out here because he was starting to feel really guilty about not giving back in life and not being fulfilled. And they said he used to come out here quite often and just sit here and meditate. As well as this was one of the places that George Harrison used to come and meditate as well. So when he passed away in 2001, they actually had a private ceremony for all of his friends out here. Actually, there's also a thousand-year-old sarcophagus here that has some of the ashes of Gandhi. And we're going to go find those as well. And this actually was originally built in the 20s for um, silent movie filmings. And then Yogananda purchased it. beautiful grounds. I can completely understand why Elvis spent so much time out here. This is more of a meditative vlog today, guys. We're going to soak in the Elvis and George Harrison experience. And surprisingly, this is just right off of Sunset Boulevard, almost in, it's in the Palisades, almost to Pacific Coast Highway. And there you can clearly see they're building a new structure out there, and they have a little pontoon boat and some canoes. And that beautiful waterfall over there. You can tell up there at one point there was a little pathway that led from Sunset down here. So now, if you've ever been to Graceland, you'll actually know and you'll understand where his meditation garden that he's buried in, where that came from. Guys, I'm really sorry, but I'm afraid, and I'm going to go check, but I'm afraid that the ashes of Gandhi might be right over in this section they have blocked off for construction. I'm going to go ask. And from 1965 until the rest of his life, Elvis would consider himself a yogi. Practicing yogi. And as we leave, I just figured I'd show you guys one more time the uh, meditation garden right here and the five principal religions being represented. 
Islam. And we'll go down there. We'll check that out. Christianity. Judaism. Judaism. Buddhism. And Hinduism. Look at that spiral staircase. It's pretty interesting. I think that's their uh, museum and gift shop. Well, I didn't use the good camera on this vlog because when I got up there, they had a sign that said no professional photography. And this is a meditation garden for people that are practicing yogi. So I didn't want to invade their space by walking around with my camera. So I uh, just went ahead and did it on my camera phone. I figured that's close enough to not being considered professional photography and nobody was in a position to really complain. So hope you guys understand. Let's go to Michael's house. We've resumed our trip back into uh, Topanga once again. I always love coming down for these visits and I'm always very uh, thrilled to be invited. Especially because I get a fine cool stuff to vlog out here. I'm not gonna vlog out here because I already did, you know, the one we just did, but I got a handful I've been looking forward to out here. We're sitting in traffic even going up to Pingy Canyon, so I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of something to look at. I decided since I'm making good on time, I would scout out like two or three of the places that I want to vlog in the future just to see what they look like, and I saw this. All kinds of like house art and various things like this out here. If I ever felt like I was running out of things to vlog, I could very easily just take the back roads of Topanga Canyon and get a full day out of it. Probably each street. I mean, there's hidden state parks back here and art everywhere. I actually pulled over because I saw a sign for an estate sale and I just thought this was so unique. Like this. I'm driving by and I see this. The entryway to somebody's house. And look what that guy did. He's got like a rhinoceros busting through his broken gate. That's awesome. See, way out there in the distance, you can see the fog starting to roll through. Now we are completely whited out with fog. Awesome. Good night.